Hey, you already know who it is, it's what a boxing, baby You know goddamn well y'all niggas don't want no smoke You know goddamn y'all don't want no smoke, nigga And here I go, baby, it's what a boxing Look, look, look What a boxing get bitches in So fuck these other niggas in What a boxing bust a load on your face Cream pie, bitch, in every other state Duck the law, cause I'm running from the J's what a boxer, baby, what a boxer, baby, what a boxer, baby, what a boxer, get bitches in. So fuck these other niggas in. What a boxer, bust a load on your face. Cream pie, bitch, in every other state. What a boxer, baby, what a boxer, baby. Hey, you know who it is, motherfucker. It's the motherfucking kid. What a boxing, bitch. What a boxing, baby. Let's. I figured I'd get on the mic, niggas. <laughs> I was gonna say spit some shit, but uh, let's talk about these undercards, baby. Let's talk about these undercards. For the fight this weekend, you know, but uh, Chocolatito is fighting some Thai motherfucker with. I, I I don't know this dude, right? I don't know. I can't even pronounce the motherfucker's name. But he has 41 wins, 38 by knockout. Ain't this motherfucker probably can hit his ass off. So I'm kind of excited to watch that bitch, you know. You know, I'm I'm real excited actually. And and uh, who else? I think uh, Quadras Quadras is fighting, right? Who's he fighting? Who's Quadras fighting? Oh, he's fighting Danny Carmona. I know him, motherfucker. That's that's a that's a goddamn knockout. Quad's gonna knock that boy out. Uh, who else we got? We got Andy Lee fighting Keandre Leatherwood. I don't know Keandre. Well, it's good to see uh, Andy Lee back in action up in this bitch. I don't know. I don't know Keandre, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, goddamn Andy Lee's gonna knock that nigga out with a left hook. <laughs> You know, you, you know, motherfucker. I know that much, nigga. I know Andy Lee got that left hook, nigga. He put that, he put that motherfucker to sleep. Who's that motherfucker in the Super Six? He put. I forgot that big white boy, Andre Ward beat him, but Andy Lee hit this motherfucker so goddamn hard with a left hook. Okay, let's see. What we what you want to talk about, baby? You know who it is? What a boxing motherfucker. It's what a boxing baby. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check bad left hook. Let me check bad left hook. See what's popping. Let's check bad left hook, nigga. Uh, let's go. Final presser, no. Uh, DeGuerre delays mandatory with medical exemption, no. Chavez Jr. to spar 120 rounds. Focus on defense. Oh, shit. Hey, shout out to Chavez Jr., man. I want Chavez Jr. to beat Canelo's ass. Real talk. But I don't know if it's going to happen, you know. Don't know. Don't know. We already, uh, my homeboy, Demetrius Andre beat, got the belt. Nigga split decision. I didn't watch that, man. I didn't watch that one, but shouts to uh, D- D- uh, Michi, <laughs> Michi Andre, Lemieux Steven versus Stevens fighters make weight for HBO, Furry up to goddamn 350 pounds, but staying positive, goddamn man, nigga won the title from uh, from Vladimir and said fuck life, huh? Schaefer announces plan for 50 million tournament, Porter all hurt, Berto to the body, take him out, <laughs> take him out to the head. Oh shit! Let's talk about you. You want to talk about that? Let's talk. About, let's talk about. Let's talk about uh, Sean Porter. I see myself hurting Berto to the body and taking him out to the head. God damn! Let's find. Let's find some quotes, motherfucker. Yes, it'll be a great fight. It will be an action-packed fight. But we both look to be very intelligent and make the other guys miss and make him pay. So we're both very excited for this fight. We're both very aggressive. We both like to fight. Neither of us mind getting hit. We don't want to get hit. But if that opportunity comes, we have to do what we have to do. On him being bigger than Berto and Berto struggling against fighters with size. And even with that, always because of my weight and because of uh, the way we train and manage everything, one thing we always lose sight of is strength. And that's because we're focused on other things like being quick and being fast and also taking off weight. Because of those things we always go away from. You know, I have natural power, but we never really focus on building my power. This camp, we started early at building the power. So you see right now that I'm very dense and I'm very strong. But as we bring the weight down, we will still focus on power. So that's there uh, during fight night. So we're looking forward to do some explosive fireworks on fight night. And it's talking about how much how much uh, he can squat and bench. I have not squatted in high school. At 18, I squatted 500 pounds. God damn, I benched 265, but I was playing football. If you remember that, 
but as a professional boxer, I haven't squatted, but the last time I lifted heavy, I think 250 or 255 was bench press. And that was the max there, so I'm still very strong. God damn, I'm stronger than you, Sean Porter. God damn. Today was chest day for me, nigga. Yeah, you know, I do sets of 245, bitch. No, I'm just playing, but I'm also, I'm also a lot bigger than Sean Porter. And more rip, nigga. But um, let's talk about let's talk about Berto and uh Sean Porter. If you want me to keep it real with you, man, Berto has a shit ton of talent. He just never he just never uh took advantage of what he has, what God has given him. I know Andre Ward says it all the time, but Berto just 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 raw talent. I think it's fast, powerful, can hit hard. His defense is lacking though. And I think Sean's going to exploit that during fight night. You know, I think he's going to bum rush him. You know, uh, 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 you don't have to be a fool to to know how Sean fights. He's going to bum rush you as soon as the bell starts. I'll just see him rip his shots off at a better distance. You know, he he gets way too close. But then again, it won't be Sean Porter if he's not all up all up in your ass. You know what I mean? Like like flies on shit. You know, like white on rice. So. It's catch 22, man. So if he backs up a little and rips his shots off a little bit better, he won't be Sean Porter. And that will give Berto the opportunity to strike with a counter and, and rip his shit off and actually hurt hurt Sean, you know? But yeah, for uh Berto needs to he needs to use, pump that jab, baby. Do more boxing and don't try to fucking impersonate Floyd. I hate Berto is the motherfucking king of dick riding Floyd. God damn. He used to do it real hard before they before they got into that scrap, you know, on pay-per-view, which I didn't watch. This is the only fight I didn't watch in my entire life <laughs> when it comes to these big-name fighters. But, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's extra funny when Berto gets in that, that Philly shell. <laughs> he gets hit all up in that head, all up in that big-ass alien head. But, yeah, man, I'm more... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm excited for this fight, and uh, shout-out to Berto, man. I know I talk a lot of shit. About you, but I'm just, you know, I'm just out here talking that shit, nigga, you know. I'm out here talking shit, but Berto, I like Berto. I used to like him when he was a prospect. I thought he was, I thought he was the shit till he took all them L's and he could, he could get hit easily. But yeah, man, I could make, I was shit, I don't even got to wait to make predictions. Sean, uh, Sean Porter by fucking knocked out. <laughs> you know, I think he's going to pounce on, he's going to pounce on Dre. He's going to pounce on Dre and, and Dre's going to be like, what the fuck? You know, this might be the first time Berto's in there with a motherfucker just as athletic as him. You know, he won't know what to do. You know, he's going to pounce, uh, fucking Porter is going to pounce on that nigga from Jump Street, you know. And digging that ass, digging that ass, baby. You know, I mean, that's how I see it. And he has animosity towards Dre, and that's just pouring gas on the fire. So he, this, this actually, this is the first time I've heard Sean talking like I want to hurt this motherfucker, and and that's how he is uh, by nature. So if he's talking about I want to hurt this motherfucker, you better you better watch your ass, Berto, baby. You know, cause Sean ain't playing. Said so he was gonna hit that nigga with gloves off, and Sean didn't take too kindly to that, you know. I don't know why you did that. Only exacerbates your, your your situation during fighting night. He's already mad. I mean, he's already a, a real Christian guy. And he's talking about he want to hurt you. Shit, that's the, you got shot out of his ca- uh, true character, and it won't be too good for you during fighting night. You know, I think that's an easy fight for Sean Porter. Tell you the truth, man, because everybody who fights Berto puts hands on him. I mean, to be that fast, agile, athletic. He gets hit way too much, you know. But it is what it is. He's always in in a fire, fire fight type of scrap. So I expect nothing but fireworks, baby. You know what I'm talking about? It's the kill. What a boxing. What else can we talk about? But yeah, I got, I got, I got the big homie Sean Porter. Oh no, did you see Sean? Uh, what fight was it? It was during the Thurman Garcia fight. He had, he had like a three piece suit and had Porter on his collar. That shit was whack. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no GQ nigga. You ain't on the you ain't the type of nigga to be on the cover of Vanity Fair, Nick. You, be, you better leave that to the fly boys, Nick. <laughs> Sean Porter, I fuck with you, man. You you a true OG nigga. I fuck with you. But after that fight, man, I'd like to see Sean Porter get it in with uh with a Desert Storm Bradley. But 
That's neither here nor there. What else can we start? What else can we talk about, Nick? What else? Let me see what, what we got. What we got? What we got, baby? But you, you're right now. I don't even have to wait to see training footage or nothing. Sean Porter's gonna beat that ass. <laughs> he gonna beat the shit out of that nigga. Um, let me see. Uh, Golden Boy, man, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Let's go. You know what I really like, man? I really, I really fuck with uh, Boxing News 24. I don't get fucked. You don't fuck with it, but I do. You know what I'm talking about? Boxing News 24 is my shit. Fuck the bullshit. Jacob's ready to beat Golovkin to become undisputed champion. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. I want Danny to win, but you ain't got no chance in hell, brother. You don't got no fucking shot in hell to beat him, dude. No shot, man. No fucking shot. We ran. We went over that situation. This fucking Daniel Jacobs is gonna get knocked out within. I say four rounds. Fuck it. Nigga. Fuck the bullshit. Danny, your ass is grass. Four rounds and below. <laughs> what else are we talking about? Tony Bellew and Hey rematch possible in 2017. Says Hearns. Shout out to Tony, man. He whooped that nigga's ass. I know. I know uh, Hay had leg injuries and all that shit. But fuck that nigga. I never, I never, I never really fucked with David Hay. Took all that shit and always loses when it comes to the big money fights. You know, so I, I'm not, I'm not too pressed about that shit. About that rematch. Golovkin focus on Jacobs, not Canelo. Bullshit, man. I mean, Golovkin's just training how he normally trains. He's not doing any extra shit for for Jacobs. He's gonna come. Oh, we already went over this, but you know he's coming out like he did against Lemieux. And then he's he's gonna land some heavy shit. He gonna get that he gonna get that punk ass nigga out of there. You hear me? <laughs> no, he ain't. No, I'm just talking shit. Yeah, I, my apologies, nigga. Like Eminem, you ain't get, you ain't no punk nigga. Punk nigga. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Golovkin says Canelo. Hold on, uh, Triple G says Canelo Chavez Jr. at catch weight is bad for boxing. Man, we all we that's 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 water underneath the bridge. We know Canelo jumps everywhere, man. The year, man, speaking of Canelo, I think he's going to beat Junior. But I want Junior to win, man. I'm about to pray every night. And I'm about to light a couple candles at mass for Chavez Jr., man. Shout out to Chavez Jr., man. I know he's he's taking care of it. Serious, man. I, you know what? I've never seen a real focused uh, Julio, man. And he might be the shit, man. You know, he got the, he got the jeans, baby. You know he got the G's, man. That that Alpha Helix is filled with goddamn boxing shit, you know. And see if he takes advantage over his weight and his height and his length. You know what I'm talking about? And his jab. He uses that jab all night. I'm telling you, Canelo's going to have problems. But I don't think he will, man. He likes to come in and just wing shit. But shout, shout out, uh... Shout out Chavez Jr., baby. Hey, fuck with your boy, nigga. What a boxer, nigga. Hey, matter of fact, give me some free tickets, Nick. <laughs> to the fight, baby. Uh, Kel Brook and Spence. I mean, Kel Brook tells uh, L to sign by the testing forms. We read it. We already went over that, baby. You heard me? But yeah, man. But yeah, man. I'm excited. You know who this is. What a boxer, nigga. You know, I'm, uh, I'm just being me. It's what a boxer, man. Just... Just scoping out these honeys, nigga, and doing me, nigga. Try to fuck these bitches, you know. And shoot these guns, nigga. Sell this crack, nigga. Hold on, what you want me to get with it? <laughs> want me to get with it, young money rackets, nigga. Bad boy rackets, nigga. What up, Diddy? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I ain't in the mood to make y'all laugh tonight. You know what I'm talking about? We about to What to say? Danny ready to beat Golovkin? Fuck that. <laughs> Look, you smoke. What you in? You motherfucking dreamland. Only in dreamland you can beat Triple T, dog. Only in dreamland, Danny. Motherfucking man. Yeah, put some bricks in your shit, brother. Then maybe you can beat Triple G. I just got to keep it real with you, man. Keeping it real. I ain't going to front because I want a certain demographic to like me. You know, keep shit real over here, nigga. You're going to lose, Danny. Put in your face. <laughs> No, I want, Lord knows I want Daniel Jacobs to win, but fuck it, nigga, you gonna lose. <laughs> you gonna lose. Praise to be Allah, nigga. Shout out Mike, Mike Iron Mike. <laughs> but let's see, listen. Wait, what else you wanna check, motherfucker? What else? We check boxing, bad left hook. Oh, we didn't check boxing. I, I checked bad left hook and boxing news. Let's check boxing, see, nigga. 
box and see motherfucker look. I got money in my pocket, I'm an uptown hustler. Shout out to Wayne. Flex muscles on nigga, and I ain't playing. Got crabs, nigga, and my dick itches. I ain't playing with these hoe bitches. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> yeah, nigga, sign me, nigga. Let's see. It's time to appreciate David Lemieux. Woo, shout out. That was a fucking devastating one-punch knockout on Curtis Stevens. God damn. I wish a motherfucker never hits me like that. Been his so... Let me see. Shakur Stevens aims to be bigger than Floyd Mayweather. You smoke a crack. <laughs> God damn, there's another nigga named Sergey. Oh shit, Roberto Duran slams Chavez Sr. You don't know boxing. Oh shit, let me click on this motherfucker. God damn. Roberto hands a stone to Duran, lashed out at Chavez Sr. over the upcoming All Mexican me- mega bout between Junior and Canelo, which takes place on May 6th. Uh, Duran says Mexican legend should have protected his oldest son and never allowed him to go forward with the Canelo fight. Shit, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Duran fears that the safety of Chavez Jr. Ooh, I said that many, many videos again. He's gonna end up. He's gonna. He's gonna end up on a stretcher, man. He might fuck around, give that nigga uh, permanent brain damage. You know, like vegetable action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think he's gonna because he don't move his head enough, man. He don't, he don't, I mean, he keeps, he's, he just, his head's fucking punching bag. He, Canelo's going to really hurt that nigga for real. Man. That's what, what, that's what I believe in the bottom of my corazón, nigga. Look, I'm being frank here with uh, all due respect to Chavez. I will say to Chavez's face, he does not know anything about boxing. I'm talking about the father with the respect he deserves. I do not see how his son can beat Canelo. And if his son were to beat Canelo, then I would tell Canelo to retire because he's finished. <laughs> oh shit! I see. That's why I like all these old niggas, man. They keep it real. All these motherfuckers over like sixty. Shit, I say like ninety-eight percent of them motherfuckers OG gangster. You know they keep they keep shit straight forward, right down the middle. Tell a nigga to his face, fuck you, nigga. You ain't shit, bitch. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know. I wish a lot of you motherfuckers were on here like that, man. With a lot of you motherfuckers, you got to read through the bullshit or listen to... You got to listen past the bullshit, nigga. And, and, dis, and decipher what you really mean, nigga. <laughs> what's, your, what's your angle, nigga? <laughs> hey, man, what else can we talk about up in this bitch, man? It's with a boxing out here fucking these hoes with no rub. Real talk. And I ain't playing the gun buster. Real nigga, I ain't playing, I'm a gun buster. Real nigga, I ain't playing, I'm a gun buster. For these bitches with no rubber, and I do that. What else can we talk about? Man, man, I'm going to end this bitch, man. You know what it is. You know my slogan. Get with the program and get your head blown off, sucker. It's what a box it. Oh, I'm back at it, though. With the beat coming in. Beat coming in. What up? What up? What up? What a box it. Uh. What a box. <laughs> this nigga got no nigga got no sense. That person doesn't have any sense at all. You know, I need to stop need to stop talking ebonics on here and, and use proper English grammar. Like the Queen of England type shit. Queen of England grammar. Y'all niggas won't listen to me if I talk like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I, if I spoke in the correct format, you would not listen to me at all. <laughs> yeah, Nick. I only talk, I only speak with proper grammar in front of these white bitches. <laughs> if you want me to keep it a, keep it a buck with you, baby. I only speak proper grammar around, around white bitches. Everything else, I'm me. <laughs> I'm me, baby. I'm with a box around everybody else except for these white bitches. They don't want to hear that, 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 uh, that. One for the money, two for the show, three for the bitches, and four for the hoes type shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's what a boxing. What else can we talk about, nigga? I got 9% on my phone left. But yeah. <laughs> if it ain't about a dollar, it ain't about cents. It's what a boxing. What's it say? 
Man, I'm cut this shit short, niggas. What a boxing, bitch. You know my slogan, get with the program. I get your head blown off. It's what a boxing. 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 Get with the program and get your head blown off, baby. It's what a boxing.